okay, Sharon, so you're sure? I really need to know. I mean, how sure are you that Bob's cheating on me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, Martha. He's here. Okay. Look, Sharon, I gotta go. And he brought the guy with him. Look, I know it sounds weird, but I've used him before. I mean, Martha, don't judge me. When I found out Daryl was cheating on me, and then I found all those pictures of those naked women and his email. Wait, other women? Yes, other women. There were many. How many? Smells like beans and tortillas in here. <laughs> and then you whack him. I love it. Last words. <laughs> Beans and turkeys. Pop! I found five, but I know for sure there's one more. And that makes six. So you did it? Yeah. And this is the guy you used to take him out? Yep. I remember one time I was doing a job down in Sicily, and they're like, damn, this is silly, G. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, silly. Freaking A, where's she at? Maybe she's... I've got things to do, you know. Maybe she's getting her hair did again, you know? She, you know, girls like to do that crap. Hey, how are you? Ah, oh, Tanya, I thought you might not be home or something. Well, it takes me a while to get to the door. Yeah, you know, I was thinking to myself, I'm pretty sure we made this appointment. I'm thinking to myself, Tanya would not forget we made an appointment. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, you know, uh, there's something fishy going on here. Well, it's great to see you too. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, what are we going to do? Sit out here and you know, pull on our cocks here or something? Like, of course, of oh. course. Let's come inside. Who is this fucking guy? Hey, you got anything to eat around here? Are you fucking serious? Hey, what the fuck is her problem? Oh, she's just a little nervous. She's never been in this situation before. Hey, what the fuck? Ugh. The hell? I mean, you bring the assassin to our meeting in her house? I mean, is that the way you do things? I don't think that's very fucking professional. What the fuck, professional? Are you serious? You're talking about us being professional? When was the last time you hired anybody to do this type of service? Never, right, bitch? I didn't think so. Fucking protocol. You want to talk about protocol? What is protocol for hiring somebody for this type of, well, Let's just say, procuring our services. Just everybody calm the fuck down! It's cool! Hey yo boss, maybe we ought to get out of here. And why did you bring the assassin with you? Oh, excuse me, I mean your co-worker with you. Well you know, that's a very interesting story. Why not have him tell you about it? You see, it's like this. I've been doing this for a very long time. And well, you see, I need motivation. Motivation? Yes, motivation, you know, so I need to know why it is that you need this guy. I mean, I'm sorry, this target eliminated. Yeah, so we were together for like two months. I mean, I really thought that he loved me. I mean, that's the longest relationship I've ever been in. I mean, he used to bring me flowers. Um, he would sing to me. I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. And now he's with God knows how many other people. I mean, why would anybody cheat on me? You know, I mean, I mean, he used to take me on picnics. You know, he would bring the the blanket, he'd bring fried chicken, um, wine, my favorite kind of cheese. I mean... You trusted him too. I know! I told him everything. I mean, he knows what parts of my body I shave. He's even helped me. Two months. Two months of my life. Right? I mean... The fuck? What the fuck? And there was this one time that he took me to the, the carnival and it was like the best day of my life. 
Like, I mean, he paid for everything. He won me two stuffed animals. I mean, do you remember that? It was just, yeah. I mean, I've never had anybody like that before. I mean, I just don't understand how somebody could be with you for two whole months and just be like, He's I'm gonna, a but there's witnesses. I mean, he doesn't deserve to live. He no. doesn't deserve he to live. To I mean, he needs to die. Yeah, he needs to die. I mean, I. Oh I love those cat yeah. pictures. I mean, I would do it myself if I could, but. You don't want to get in trouble. I know. I'm really glad that you're here. I really yeah. am. I'm happy. Thank you so much. You're really, welcome. this is just. This has been a really amazing experience. I'm glad that we've had this meeting. I really am. And now it's time for him to die. <laughs> All right, man. Let's handle this little problem with theirs. Hit it. Do you believe that freaking story? Honestly, I don't give a shit. Let's roll.